everyone, we all are going through this pandemic and teachers and students are struggling with online classes. So in this video, I'll be helping you with remote teaching with Google Jamboard and Google Meet. Jamboard is a digital interactive whiteboard developed by Google. This tool can be used as a whiteboard while teaching through Google Meet. So let's see how it's done. So there are two ways to open Google Jamboard. You can either open it through Google Meet itself or you can go to jamboard.google.com. First of all, I'm going to show you how to open it through Google Meet. So here I have already started an instant meeting in Google Meet and on the bottom right corner, you can see an activities icon. These features were added in the latest update of Google Meet. So if you don't find these icons, try updating it. Once you click on activities, you will see an option whiteboarding. After clicking on that, scroll down and click on start a new whiteboard. And then you will see a new tab opens, which is the Google Jam board. I'm just closing it for now. In the comment section, you will see a link that is shared with your students. When students click on this particular link, a jam board appears and whatever you write in your Jamboard will instantly appear in theirs too. This Jamboard works as a digital whiteboard, but there's a lot more to do with this amazing tool, which we will look in the coming couple of minutes. Now let me show you another way to open Google Jamboard. For that, you need to make sure that you're opening this in Google Chrome itself. And if you click on these nine dots that you see over here, you can see all the tools that are provided by Google itself, like Google Meet, Google Docs, and so on. And here, if you scroll down, you will see this yellow orange icon, which is the icon for Google Jamboard. Click on that, and this is the interface that will open up. So here, I have already signed in with my Google account. So if you haven't signed in, you'll have to sign in with your Gmail ID and password. You can see a recent Jamboard over here, which is the one we opened in the Google Meet. Like this, all the Jamboards you create will be listed out here so that you can work on it anytime. Now, to create a new Jamboard, you need to click on the plus icon that you see on the bottom right corner. So this is how a Jamboard will look like. You have a toolbar on the left side canvas in the middle where you can write and draw and on the top panel you have icons to undo and redo your actions and a zoom icon where you can fit the canvas to the screen or according to percentage and then you can set backgrounds like a plain background a dotted one a lined background or a graph paper or with different colors you can even set a different image as your background Next button is clear frame which will clear everything in the canvas if you just click over there. On the top left, you can see untitled jam written next to the Jamboard icon. If you just click over there, you can rename this jam. So here I'm just renaming it to how to use Jamboard and then I'm clicking OK. Over here, you can see the number of canvas on which you're currently working. Right now it shows one by one. And if you click on the arrow on the right side, it will add more canvas to this Jamboard. So you can easily navigate between the canvases or pages by clicking the arrow marks over here. Now I'm going to change this background to white. And now let's look at the tools. On the left hand side, you can see a toolbar and the first icon over there is a pen tool. Here we have four options. First one is a pen. Then we have a marker, highlighter and a brush. So I'll show you each one of these. So this is how you can write with a pen. It is very thin and sharp. And this is how you can write with a marker. This is the highlighter. And this one is the brush. So if you are writing like this, you need to have a little practice to write more clearly. And later in this video, I'll be sharing a tip with you, which will help you to write more clearly and draw straight lines. We also have different color options over here, so you can write and draw in different colors and make it more attractive. 
Below that we have the eraser icon. You can just click over there and erase the pen marks. And if you want to erase the whole frame at just one click, you can use the clear frame option that you can see over here. Just click on that and everything in the canvas will be vanished. Next we have a select tool. This tool is used to select objects like a text or a sticky note or a table, a circle etc. We will look about that later. Next is a sticky note icon. If you click on that, a new sticky note pop-up will appear. You can type in whatever text you want and you can change the colors and then you can click on save. So for now, I'm just adding two sticky notes. You can just simply click and drag, resize, you can tilt it. And if you click on the three dots over here, you can edit, duplicate, delete and change the order. So if any objects come in front of it, you can choose the order. You can just click on the three dots and change the order to send backward and it will go behind that object. Below sticky notes, you have an option to add image into your Jamboard. You can upload your image from PC, you can upload by URL, you can take a live photo and upload, you can use Google image search, you can insert from Google Drive and also from Google Photos. For now, I'm going to select Google image search and I'm going to add a welcome image. If you click on any one photo, you can see an insert option below. So if you just click on insert, that image will appear in your canvas. So I'm just going to delete this sticky note and resize this picture. So while selecting any object, you can see that the select icon is automatically selected. See, this is the use of this particular tool. You can click and select any object in the Jamboard. Below to the image icon, you can see a circle icon, but if you click over there, you can see other shapes also. So you can select any of these and try it out in the canvas so i have added some shapes i can resize it and if you click on the three dots you can duplicate the same shape and you can delete it you can change the order and when i select this object i can see two options one is to change the border color and the other one is to fill color inside the shape now the next tool is the text box if you click over there you can add some text to your canvas just click and type in something so here I'm just typing in Jamboard and I am just resizing this text and on the top panel there are some options so if you click over here you can change the size of your text and then the next option is to change the color of your text and then you can change the alignment of your text the last one in the toolbar is the laser tool. This tool can be used to highlight the portion which you are teaching. So if I just want to highlight the sticky note, I can just drag over it. And this line will be disappeared after 2 seconds. So this acts like a laser pointer. Now I am going to clear this frame. And I am going to set the dotted background. And I hope you remember that I had told you that I will share a trick with you. So if you are simply drawing two lines, it won't be a perfect one, right? So I am gonna share a trick that will help you to draw perfect lines in Jamboard. You just need to press the shift key while drawing lines and you can see that you will be getting perfect straight lines. So that was a wonderful trick you can implement while using Google Jamboard. Now I'm going to clear this frame and create a real jam. So just imagine that I'm going to teach students how to use Google Jamboard. So here I'm going to add a title. I have added a rectangle here. Then I'm going to add a title, a heading. And then I have changed the phone size. And now I need to start presenting this to the students. So I'm going back to the Google Meet and presenting my screen. And I'm going to choose the tab option. Choose the tab and click on share. Now you can see a blue line, right? So the students are now able to see whatever is inside this blue line. 
Now let me add some shapes into this canvas. I'm adding some arrows and then I'm going to add some text inside it. I'm taking the duplicate so that I'll get the exact same shape and the same size itself. And again, I'm taking the duplicate and inserting the text. So I have finished my first page. Now let me add a new canvas by clicking on the arrow mark. And then I have changed the background. In this page, I'm going to explain about the Jamboard toolbar. So I'm adding the heading as Jamboard toolbar. And then I'm going to take a screenshot of Jamboard toolbar panel and then I'm pasting it into the canvas and I'm going to mark each of these icons and label it with icon names. So I have completed my Jamboard. Now I had added some extra canvases over here to show you so let me delete that you just need to click over here then you'll be able to see every pages like thumbnails and if you click on the three dots on the top right corner you have two options one is to duplicate and the other is to delete so to delete these extra canvases I'm choosing the delete option now after your classes you can share this with your students let's see how it can be done if you click on the three dots you see over here, there are so many options. The first one is to rename, which we already did. The second one is to download it as a PDF file. You can also share these as assignments. You can delete some text, add some fill in the blanks and ask your students to fill it and submit it. Now the next option is to download as an image. Then we have options to remove the slide and make a copy of the slide. The next button you see over here, the blue share button will help you to share this jam as a link with your students. So if you just click over there, you can change the permissions to anyone with the link. And then you can also select whether they want to view or edit. You can copy this link and share it with your students. Now let me open and show you the PDF which I have already downloaded. So like this, students will be able to save these notes for future references. So I hope you understood everything related to Google Jamboard and how effectively you can take online classes using Google Meet and Google Jamboard. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.